Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to the latest edition of Trad Cat Night Breaking News right here on the Trad Cat Night YouTube channel. Folks, if I seem a bit scatterbrained for this promo, uh, I do apologize in advance. There's an awful lot to get through, and I'll do my best for the next 15, 20 minutes to get you caught up to speed on everything. For those uh, who continue to resist, uh, those who stay outside of the paywall, I cannot stress enough how much you guys are missing out on all the latest uh, topics that we're covering here at Trad Cat Night. And just to take a quick peek at what's ahead for this week, folks, very busy schedule upcoming on Monday. Sir Hugh Owen from the Colby Center joins the program. Dr. David Duke joins the program. How about Max Egon joining the program once again on the 13th? 14th, Bay McFarlane joins the program. We've got Jill Colton on the program. 15th, Leo Zagami, Jesse Romero joins the program. 16th, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, top leading uh, anti-vaccine whistleblower, if you will. Hannah Herlin from The Herlin Show joins the program. The 17th, Harley Schlanger. We also have Charles Kuhl-Yom on the program. First time guest, Jake from the Grand Solar Minimum Channel on the program. 18th, Sal the Agorist. Paul Stark from the movie Vatican Deception. And to round it out, Dr. Peter Hanowski giving us the latest information as it relates to the fake sister, Lucy. Um, a lot happening here at the Trad Cat Night. My goodness. Finished up with a great talk here with uh, Father Paul Kramer not too long ago. But to get everyone caught up to speed first as to some of my latest articles. Have you all been hearing uh, and checking out some of these videos on YouTube? I'm the only Catholic channel that points this out uh, on a weekly basis. Uh, usually every two or three days, I post the latest strange sounds happening in the sky. What does Catholic prophecy have to say about it? It is more dire, folks. So I have an article, Strange Sounds in the Sky, Advent of Chaos and Carnage. I also go through St. John Eudas because Father Kramer in his book, To Deceive the Elect, makes a general reference to St. John Eudas describing the church's triumph period, which is going to be the Immaculate and Sacred Heart period. And it is infallibly taught that this happens after the defeat of the Antichrist. So all those who will keep coming back uh, in return. Well, there's a lot of saints and, and mystics who say the rain happens before uh, uh, the Antichrist. Well, we go to St. John Eudas and he says very definitively, all the fathers agree. This is their unanimous teaching that the triumph of the church period occurs after the Antichrist. It means anyone who rejects that is outside the church in part this is what father kramer and i talked about uh an article another article marie julie jenny and blessed anna emmerich giving us further evidence as to why to stay away from the novus ordo sacraments they are doubtful uh, in the very least i put up an article just a week or so ago on that i have an article seven critical areas of this apostasy breaking it down even furthermore uh, exodus then and the future safe havens for the elect and i am currently working one on here in the ohio valley area some of my followers have even started their own uh safe havens for the arrival of the antichrist if you were a member of track at night you would know this by now uh survival of the fittest what is meant by fittest from the catholic perspective again i break that down uh just recently over the past three days what will the antichrist liturgy look like and do those deceive get a pass from god also have an article are trad cat night followers just smarter or more aware than those who are following uh, the false right websites like the remnant or the vatima center 
or LifeSite News or 1 Peter 5. And this came uh, as a response to one particular woman who is now a Trad Cat Night member, recently uh, coming over from the Remnant. And uh, she came to me and, and personally told me that she uh, went to a recent Catholic Identity Conference and she said he had a, she had a conversation with Michael Matt and she just has said what I've been saying, essentially that he's clueless. Why don't these people kind of get it? Uh, and so I break that down a little bit more. It's nothing really new that I've been saying here at Tradcat Night. My latest article is entitled Rejection of Truth and Operation of Error. We use uh, several scriptures to help break down this apostasy. Uh, a lot of people emailing me over that over the past 24 hours, really enjoying that one. Now, as it relates to some of the latest radio shows that you all are missing out, again, don't be stubborn. Don't listen to the nonsensical nonsense being talked out about me by some of these false trads and uh, certain, certain, pay attention to the key words there, certain state of accomplishments and what they have to say about me. Uh, in any case, uh, check out some of the latest here. We've got Marshall Masters that was on the program. And uh, this was a talk, uh, well, it was about a week or so ago, entitled Marie Julie Jehenny and the Planet X System. Why are some of the stars disappearing again we covered some of the latest strange sounds sky trumpets fresh west case west coast earthquake warnings if you all have been noticing massive uptick in earthquakes in the puerto rico area about a thousand quakes just had another 6.0 i remind everyone scripture indicates every island will sink will disappear essentially every mountain will be moved uh, we talked uh, social upheaval for 2020, the latest earth cracks and fissures. What does Catholic prophecy have to say about it? There's been new disturbances on the sun uh, that we talk about. Why are all these birds dropping uh, from the sky uh, in mass quantities? Does Trump know about Planet X? Will he disclose it? And we give some of the latest evidences for uh, some of the tent plagues happening all over again. Also had on a uh, longtime follower, Tom C. We call him again. Some of my uh, podcasts, uh, we've got people who like to remain anonymous. We're following it. He's an ex-federal agent whistleblower. We talk about the Christian persecution and just the evil times that we live in. Uh, I was very fortunate to get Ben Davidson back on the program from Suspicious Observers talking about Catholic prophecies on the signs of the sun and the geomagnetic jerk. And I don't have time to get through all the subtopics that we talked about, but the one in particular uh, was in relation to what Our Lady says to Marie Julie Jenny. Certain appearances or spots or marks on the sun. And when I read it to uh, Ben, uh, he kind of paused for a second. And he basically was like, oh my goodness. Because he had an exact uh, comeback, if you will, as to what that means scientifically. And it made the hair stand up on the back of my head. Because he says, listen, if these certain signs show up, it's done for. It's go time. It's basically Apocalypse 8 7 time. Look that up if you don't know what I'm talking about. We had Gary Wayne back on the program talking about the Luciferian New Age of Aquarius, the rapture tragedy. Again, many people are going to be sucked into the whole pre mid uh, tribulation uh, rapture thesis, uh, which is false, of course. Uh, Gary Wayne does a good job helping to break that down. We had Robert Sungenis on the program talking about these modernists of Vatican II and how they support. Zionism, again, as a Catholic, you cannot be a Catholic. You cannot be in the body of Christ and not hold the proper doctrine on the question of uh, the word that rhymes with pews and uh, just in general on Zionism. As Catholics, we don't support Zionists. We don't support the Rothschild puppet state of Israel. We don't support uh, Islam. We don't support any of those groups that are warring right now. We are the true body of Christ. Those outside of it, good luck to you. Catholic attorney Carmen, longtime follower, joins us or joined me on January the 4th talking about Our Lady of Guadalupe's end time prophecy date. Now, according to her, this is not me, on the Tilma, there's a prophecy date given, which is upcoming in the next year, and she wants to give her explanation as to what she thinks it is. And we break down Sermon 3, a rare sermon in Spanish on St. Vincent Ferrier and why God is going to allow the Antichrist. Therefore, the subtopics for this one, signs preceding the Antichrist, errors made by Catholics concerning the timing of the arrival of the Antichrist. We talk about Our Lady and her buying us more time. We talk this, about the CERN project, the release of demons. Um, we talk about uh, our saint teachings, infallible end time scoffers, and a whole lot more, if I'm not mistaken, off the top of my head. That one was about an hour and a half 
long. Also had on the program uh, award-winning Danish Catholic journalist Ibn Thranholm on the program. We broke down the culture of death. We talked uh, about why fear is leading so many to despair, why suicide rates are so high. Great, great podcast with Ibn. Also had on the program after a long layoff, like Ben Davidson, Lynette Zhang, one of the top economic gurus who's been featured all over the place. If you don't know her work, get over to ITM Trading to check her out. In any case, Lynette Zhang joined the program. This one's entitled, How to Eat in Any Economy, Prepping and Start Pulling Out Cash Now. Again, folks, listen, the areas that I cover here at Tradcat Night are not covered by any other Catholic website. I'm getting you fully prepared for the storm ahead. Uh, so for $5 a week, which is still uh, very cheap, you're going to be getting all of this information i podcast monday through saturday typically two to three special guests a day running uh, 45 minutes plus uh for every podcast but lynette zhang broke down some of the latest economic indicators is the reset already here the economic death meter how are the central banks preparing for the crash uh we talked about about the importance of seeds general prepping and the survival communities for ahead uh and really so much more great talk with Lynette. Good to get her back on the show. For you uh, resistance members out there, Father Voigt was back on the program. This one was entitled The Soviet Church and Francis is Vatican II Personified. So we talked more about what uh, Father Voigt was taking a look at. We talked Father Via on Vatican II, this process of revolution, uh, synods, and how this relates to Sovietism. We talked about the SSPX and supply jurisdiction, more on safe havens, more on what Father Void is doing as it relates to prepping. Uh, we talk about the times we live in, at evil being presented as good and vice versa. Man being handed over to this operation of error, which I've already said I put it into uh, uh, an article. Uh, it was the day after, I think, after this podcast. I actually did that article on this operation of error. Uh, we discussed more of the recent divine warnings of nature. We talked uh, a little bit more on Amoris Letitia, a Vatican II, quote-unquote, conscience replacing divine revelation in the vatican II sect also had on the program dr bill warner on january 8th talking about solomani sleeper cells and sudden jihad syndrome folks are we on the verge of a holy war we talked francis and the one world religion we talked the top three worst european countries on muslim immigration again dr bill warner from political islam very well traveled his podcast by the way was very not only informative, but it was very entertaining. We had a good time on this one. Uh, he's got a good sense of humor, and I had, got him to crack up a few times. We talked uh, a little bit more about Islamic symbology, Shara law on rape, the sin of tolerance that we're dealing with in our modern times. But folks, the one we want to highlight is the one I just finished right now with Father Paul Kramer. It's about an hour and 15 minutes long. It's entitled, The Slap Heard Round the World, a Masonic Hand Gesture Signaling. The soon arrival of the Antichrist. So, subtopics for this one. Why Benedict XVI is the true Pope Professor Violi's recent error. This one was very interesting because I wasn't aware that Violi had to sort of switch gear on, his gears on the topic. So, Father Kramer covers that for about five or ten minutes. Why do most traditionalist slash resistance type fall into error on the question of the true Pope? And or why are they whitewashing it? Uh, there's been some in the resistance who won't even read Father Kramer's book who, uh, I've been told they think it's, it's, uh, it's, how do I put this? It, it shouldn't even be worth discussed, I guess. So Father Kramer spent some time breaking that down. Why some SSPX resistance, uh, priests and laity are falling into error on this. We talk more about the errors of the new mass or just the new mass in general, why it must be avoided. The new code, what's wrong with it. So some of what's wrong with it, new catechisms, including the new one which uh, apparently will incorporate ecological sins into the program. We talked about St. Francis of Assisi's end time prophecy. What about St. Malachi, uh, St. Malachi's prophet prophecy? Is it legit? We put Father Kramer on the spot and he answers. We cover all the latest earth changes, the latest conciliar church news. I'm sure you're seeing all of the, the craziness uh, happening in the conciliar church. Well, I, I cover it all with uh, Father Kramer. What ought the Cardinals do who know that Francis is an anti-pope? What should they be doing right now? Father Kramer answers that. The slap heard round the world, as you know, what happened with that uh, Asian woman. And why is the Vatican ignore, ignoring the Chinese faithful? Will this latest skirmish along the lines of geopolitics now, will the latest skirmish 
with Iran, cause Russia to attack the United States, again, falling under the umbrella of the whole Fatima message. Father Kramer answers. Uh, Father Kramer also gets into geocentrism versus heliocentrism. Some very interesting comments there on the topic. I, I would say uh, it's, it's worth the price of admission for listening to him talk on this topic for about 10 or 15 minutes. I learned an awful lot. Were the recent Scottish hermits actually really excommunicated? Hmm, what do you think? The Masonic hand signs that Francis has been giving since day one, including this crossed over arms symbology. What does it really mean? And I spend uh, some time discussing uh, what it does mean. And, it, and it's rather dire uh, that the, 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 the prelates, the higher ups are giving this hand sign. It is alluding to the man of sin. Refuting the universal acceptance thesis as it applies to Francis. Father Kramer covers that. What about common opinions? Is it truly a sin, as John Salza would indicate, that those who don't follow the common opinions of the church, that they would fall under the pain of mortal sin? This is actually absolutely laughable. I'll just I'll give you the brief answer on that. Uh, but can common opinions within the church actually, over time, become uh, obsolete, uh, watered down, obsolete? or even heretical. Father Kramer gives a, a, a few examples as to how common opinions in times past can even be heretical in these times. And again, when we're discussing the question of a heretic pope, John Salza, all those who are following this thesis, whether they be the remnant types, the one Peter five types, whoever, life site news types, Catholic family news types, anyone following this is now have fallen into heresy since Vatican I. A formal heretic cannot be a Catholic, cannot be a Pope. In any case, where are we in the apocalypse? I'm sorry, folks. I am, I've been talking all day since this morning and I'm just about out of breath. But for those who are not familiar with Trad Cat Night, uh, we are number one, the number one ranked Catholic outlet according to Feedspot Top 15 Christian channel. Again, podcasting Monday through Sunday, some of the top uh, biggest names out there coming on to the program. 25 to 50 posts on the regular, highly unique. You're not going to find the type of information that I present out there to the public. And again, uh, there's certain priests out there that, uh, like uh, Father Ripperger, who, who will take what I say and make that sound like it's Gnostic. No, this has nothing to do uh, on the theological level. Uh, it has to do with these New World Order uh, endgame programs that are not covered by other Catholics because, quite frankly, they're ignorant. They have no idea. Uh, unfortunately, about these certain subtopics. Uh, but in any case, again, this is where my articles will be presented. Uh, all my writings, I'm giving little extracts from my work, Fortress of the Soul, there. There's numerous resource pages. Uh, I got an update today from Kathleen Loney, who's handling all the sacramentals for the Three Days of Darkness. She's going to be distributing, free of charge, uh, some of the remedies which will be necessary for the times ahead. That's on the Three Days of Darkness page. Uh, again, one more reason to join our community. You can write your own articles for publication. You can write your own or join me for a podcast if you like. Uh, again, highly unique. No other website is doing this. You don't have to have a journalistic background, uh, all kinds of uh, initials after your name. I bring on the everyday person and uh, talk about what you want to talk about. As a matter of fact, we had Don M. and Frank M. on the show as well today talking uh, end time prophecies and prepping. Uh, and folks, you can cancel at any time. Uh, you have access to my podcast archive once you sign up. Goes back to 2015. I got thousands of podcasts that you can go back and check out. It's great to see some new faces here. Recently joining up at tradcatnight.org. We are the end time Eagles that St. Louis de Montfort talked about. The Eagles are gathering, folks. Where the body is, there also shall the Eagles be gathered. So punch it into your phone up top. Punch it into your browser on your computer tradcatnight.org simply fill out that first line that says become a member stripe is the payment processor it's faster safer easier than even paypal and uh, once you do that you're hooked up you just uh, it's sort of like facebook you can put a picture up you make your own profile uh you can there's all kinds of different functions that you can do once once you do do that uh but if you're watching this on youtube as i'm sure most of you are scroll down a little bit and in the description box you're going to see that first link there that says become a member click that green or blue hyperlink that says uh it's right below where it says become a member and simply join us folks i hope to see some new faces sorry for this one being a little bit more winded but my goodness an awful lot of information going out over the past week do join us here until next time stay safe god bless Ave maria